So, say we're going to drill from this position a few times. And the, the key to, you're going to start like this, because this is a lot of times you end up here with the grip, right? But it's not, it makes it kind of awkward to move as long as you try to hold it. So what you want to do is you're going to use the grip on the neck. Is I'm, I'm just going to slide my thumb like right in between my uh, pecs here. Right? So you might not even get that high. You might be on your stomach. You basically put the thumb right in the center of your chest. It's going to create like a little, almost like a handle for you to hold onto the neck. And you're not doing this, you're not squeezing with your arm. You're basically just going to lay your weight onto one side of his neck and put your head and shoulder on the mat. This is immediately gonna put like a, a little bit of choking pressure on your partner so he can't really move very well from here. Right? What I want you guys to do is have the person on bottom, when you get here, just have the person on bottom move around or try to bump your hips, push, push me around, have him move and just control this position. Your head, it's fine if your head comes up. If your head comes up and he starts to like, push me back a little bit, just keep your head up. As soon as he settles, just bring your head back. And basically, you're, you're controlling that person's entire body just by controlling their neck. Right? And you'll see, as he goes to move around, as he opens his legs, it makes it fairly easy for me to step out. And when you step over into this position, you have a really strong choking position on his neck already. Right? So from here, all I'm going to do is post my hand on the mat. I'm going to start to stretch my head forward. I'm going to move my head in line with his head, sink my hips, and draw my elbow back and finish. So we'll just drill this a few times, but I want your partner to give you a little bit of a feel. So start with the front headlock, move your thumb into the center of your chest, put your head and shoulder on the mat, sink all your weight through your lat into their neck like this. Twist your knees to face them. Right? Have your partner move around a little bit, just so you get a feel for like riding in this position. Right? Once your partner's legs open up, you're just gonna step out. Right? You can hook your feet inside. Post your hand out wide. I'm going to slide my head towards his head and draw my elbow back as I sink my hips. So my head comes forward. I inch my head towards him, sink my hips, and draw the elbow back. You can also, from this position, connect your hands if you want, but I think it's much more stable with a hand on the mat and just using one arm. In a worst case scenario, his head pops out and you're just mounted on the person. But the key is to get comfortable controlling the person with just that that grip on the neck. So we start here, hand slides to the center of the chest. Put your weight down, just put some flat on his back. You can use a free hand to push, slide your knee out. All right, settle your weight. Line your head up with his head, draw your elbow back, and finish. But first, have your partner, once you get to this position, have your partner try to just throw you off. You just get a good feel for rounding. You see how wide my base is? Makes me very stable and just kind of stay loose. You might even have a person bumping him real hard. He bumps it real hard, and he just ends up in a really tight guillotine because you have that strong grip to begin with. All right? One, two, three.